Hey guys, today I'm back in Polybridge, and a lot of people have asked me to make some sort of transforming bridge. I thought making a mech suit from a bridge would fit the bill, so that's what I want to do in this video. So, let's get right into it. So starting out in the sandbox here, the first thing I did was try separating out the islands, but I wasn't really too sure on exactly what I wanted. So you can see here, I just sort of created this simple level with the water in the middle, but then I realized if I add a second island in like this, it gives me quite a bit of space to put in a bridge. So you can see there, I put that in place, and I start putting in the reinforced roads. After that, I realized I actually had to lower the island by a single block. After I do that though, See, finish up the bridge like that. And to support it, you can see here I'm using under supports, so which will be really important in a second. But you see here, it pulls itself up just fine. And to drive across it, you can see I'm putting down a monster truck. Now, the monster truck, I actually want to power this as well, but you can see it goes across the bridge just fine and reaches its flag. So with that done, you can see I'm actually covering up the water on the bottom of this little island area. And with that, I actually extended out the bridge just a little bit. And then here you can see I'm adding in a checkpoint for the truck. Now I'm adding in a stop checkpoint so that it stops in the middle of the bridge, and that's gonna allow time for the bridge to transform around the truck. And you can see here I'm putting in some hydro hydraulics, and these are going to expand out when the truck goes across it and hopefully capture it. But it didn't end up stopping for some reason. You can see it just continued on. But once it hit its flag, you can see it then started to fold in. The folding actually looks pretty good, but I ended up just moving around the hydraulic phase. And you can see here, truck goes across, it's its checkpoint, and it starts to fold around it. Now, I don't get a complete circle, which is what I want. So I ended up raising it up just a little bit, and that should give me more rotation. You can see here, truck reaches the middle of it, starts to rotate around, and it actually looks pretty good, but I have two extra bridge pieces here. So I ended up deleting those. After that, just make sure to move everything over again. And I give it another shot here. You can see truck gets across, hits its checkpoint, and I forgot to detach it from the right side, so it just did that. But you can see here, I actually did fix it, released it from both sides, and it folds around it quite nicely, and you can see here, it actually links up just fine, but I still didn't love this because it was too segmented. Basically, I want the truck to drive around this, and that's going to be the main power source for the suit, so I need it to be a little bit smoother so that I can more effectively push the truck up against it and break power. And you can see here, I actually add a whole bunch more segments, and this actually folds much smoother, but I'm missing a few pieces on the top. So what I ended up deciding to do is raise up the bridge just a little bit on the bottom, and that should give me slightly more rotation. And you can see finally here, truck gets across, and as it folds around it, it looks good, but there's actually one extra bridge piece. And I didn't realize this at the time, and I actually deleted two, so you can see here now I'm missing a full bridge piece, and I'm adding one more in. That means I'm gonna have an even number of bridge pieces, which means that I can't really put anything straight in the middle of the bridge. It's either gonna be slightly off to the one side or the other. But you can see there, it actually did fold up just fine, and with that done, I wanted to find the middle node of the bridge. Now this is kind of tricky, because what I'm doing here is trying to use two steel pieces and have the node at the top be the very center of the wheel. I ended up messing with it for a little while and I sort of find it, but I realized the best way to do this would actually be to copy it over to a second segment as well. And as they fold in, the two nodes on top should perfectly overlap. And you can see after enough tweaking, I finally get that here. They're totally overlapping and that is the perfect center of the bridge. So originally I was going to use this to hold down the truck, but I actually realized I want to hold on to this piece for later. And what I wanted to try first was creating some way for using oversized pieces and pushing the truck down with that. So after I got those in place, you can see here I'm putting down some roads and I'm using some springs and these springs are gonna hopefully push down this road into the truck and keep it against the wheel. And you can see it's actually working here. The truck's getting held right up against it, but it also was able to slip out, which was a little annoying. So I ended up using some extra pieces of steel to hopefully hold the truck in place better, but this really just seemed to push it a little bit too hard. And I realized a better way to do this would be to bring in that piece that I created before and to use this instead. Now, if I do this, I should be able to pull the road piece into place rather than push it. And pulling things is generally a little more stable than pushing. You see I have this working pretty well. The truck's gonna hold up against the wheel just fine, and I should be able to use this to start powering the mech. So I ended up adding in a couple more road pieces to hopefully give it even more stability. And you can see here, a truck has a little bit of trouble getting in, but for the most part, it still seems to be fine. It gets held in there quite well. And I also decided to get rid of some of the support for my bottom piece, and I replaced it with static joints. Once I did that though, you can notice the bridge actually gets slightly curved up, and it's just enough to prevent the truck from hitting its checkpoint. So I ended up moving the checkpoint up, just a little bit, and you can see there, still hits it just fine, gets held in just as well, and it seems to be working just as before. Now you'll notice here, the two nodes that are supposed to be on top of each other are bowing in and out a lot, and to fix that, I was gonna use a mechanical lock like this. All the mechanical lock is, is two pieces of steel, and they should prevent these pieces from bowing out, but I noticed it wasn't really working, and they still were doing it. So I added two more in, and after that, you can see here, it seemed to be holding it together much better, and these joints seem to be perfectly on top of each other. So with that taken care of, the next thing I wanted to work 
work on was some way to keep a leg on the ground as this rolls around. And in order to do that, you see here, I'm using some steel to extend out to the ground. And if I just make sure to brace it up against the body, you can see here as it falls to the ground, it stays rigid and it actually rotates around with the truck, but eventually it hits the ground and the truck starts rotating the wheel. And because the truck is locked to this piece and that piece is not able to rotate, the truck is forced to rotate the wheel. And you can see here, I ends up rolling to the other side. Now I ended up flipping it to the other side so the truck didn't have to do a 180 at first. So with that done, I actually decided to delete this and I wanted to go for more of a leg shape instead. Now this is the start of my walking mechanism here and getting that leg in place seemed pretty easy. So I just copied it over to the other side and giving it a test now as it rotates in, you'll notice the legs are sort of bowing into each other a bit. And the way that the folding mechanism works, it's gonna end up doing that. So I just started the legs slightly bowed out and this seemed to mostly cancel that effect out, but it still bounced on the ground quite a lot. So I ended up raising up the terrain a little bit and you can see here, it's able to stand up just fine and I should be able to start working on some walking linkages. Now my first idea here is using two pieces of steel and as the wheel rotates around, it'll pull in and out that node between them and I should be able to use that motion to start pulling that leg back and forward. But you can see here, it ended up just getting stuck because it wasn't quite long enough. So to increase the length, I actually have to use some diamond piece to steel like this. After I do that here, you can see starting out, truck gets on and it actually pulls it back a pretty good distance and pushed it forward as well. So this looked great, but I need to add in a second linkage that also pulled in and out, but out of beat. And you can see I have that here. So with both of these in place, it should in theory be enough to start working on the leg. And in order to do that, you can see I'm starting out here using some parallelogram linkages. Now, the reason I wanted to start with these is it should be able to pull in and out the parallelogram and by deforming it, it should look a lot more like it's pulling in and out a foot. This didn't really work at first though, and it actually just completely folded in the wrong direction and then binded up the mechanism. So I tried making a much larger parallelogram and I was hoping that would fix things a bit. And this actually did seem to get the motion I was looking for, but the whole thing was really big for the leg and also it wasn't even moving that much. I figured there must be a better way to do this. So I started out here and I was going for a different parallelogram because this time it's taller than it is wide. And by hooking it up in the same exact way, it actually seemed to be performing a little bit better. It pulled in a great distance and only just barely started to deform. So I ended up just bracing to a slightly different joint and you can see here, it actually is working. It's moving back and forth and this should work great for the leg, but it's a little jerky at the end and I didn't really love that. So I tried going for a slightly longer version and I also tried moving it up a bit and I wanted to see if that would make any difference at all. But it actually seemed to make things worse. You can see here as it rotates around, there's a certain point it just jerks all the way to the front and it slowly comes back again. So I tried lowering it down and seeing if this would have any effect and it actually seemed to be a about the same. It was a little bit better, but I still wasn't in love with the mechanism, and I realized a much better way to go would be this. This piece is going to end up being the top part of the leg, and it actually moves back and forth in a pretty good way, and it doesn't jerk around at all. And I was starting to put in the bottom part of the leg like this, but I realized a better way to do it would actually be to put it more over to the right. And you'll see in a second here, it looks a lot more like a leg when I do this. I tried to hook up the bottom part of the walking mechanism to the rest of the wheel, and it actually looked pretty good at first. Now it's a little rotated, but if I undo that for you, you can actually see here it walks nicely across the bottom and then picks up its foot to go back over to the front. And that's exactly what I need to see in order to get some good walking. So the next thing I did here was try to put in a temporary back foot. I didn't want to copy this over and flip it yet. I just wanted to get the proof of concept to see if this could kind of limp across the ground. After I got that in place, it folded in weirdly, just like it did before. So I actually braced it to the other side. And you can also see here, I'm putting in some platforms for the truck to ride on. But after I got that all hooked up, you can see it falls on the ground. And I've never seen this before, but it actually managed to just phase through the ground. It seems like it kind of glitched it. And then it got popped right back out. So of course that's not really going to work. So I ended up raising up the terrain a bit to make it a little bit easier, but it seems like the back leg's just a little too small. So I ended up making it much bigger like this. And after that, you can actually see it is getting the right motion. It's holding itself up, but it's a little too far off the ground. So I ended up just raising up the bottom of the foot a little bit. And after that, you can see here, it's lumping across the ground pretty well. Now at this point, I basically had a proof of concept that this would work. So I ended up copying it over to the other side. And you can see here, there's a lot of work that needs to be done still. The whole mechanism still rotated weirdly. You see that the front leg's actually kind of pulling up really far and the back leg's actually pushing down pretty far. So in order to fix this, I'm gonna need some way to rotate it after the fact. And I realized I could just use some hydraulics for this and it should work out well. Now I set these all to expand. You can see here as the truck hits the checkpoint, it actually expands out these hydraulics now and the front leg starts to rotate forwards. When it does this, it catches up a little bit though. So I actually have to tell the front hydraulics to expand a little bit less. And once I do that, you can see here, it seems to work just fine, doesn't bind or anything. And as it moves, it actually traces a path pretty close to parallel with the ground, so that should work out pretty well. And to fix the back, I did the exact same thing. I added in some hydraulics to expand out, and you can see the back rotate a little bit, and once I do that, it should fix it, but I actually noticed it's not working well enough. It fixed it a 
little bit. Mamora rotation would actually be better here. So I just hold those back hydraulics to expand all the way again. And once I did that, you can see here it rotates a lot more and it traces the path a lot closer to parallel with the ground. So with that done, I added on some feet and I dropped it on the ground, but it really didn't want to work. The motion looked great, but it just could not stand up. So I ended up adding some roads to the bottom to hopefully weight it down a little bit more. And you can see dropping it, it actually does stay on the ground a bit better, but now it has a lot of trouble picking itself up. And I ended up adding some extra roads and I was curious if a little more weight in the bottom would fix anything, but it didn't really seem to do anything at all. So I ended up getting rid of all the roads I currently had and I tried adding in some pieces of steel like this. And this actually did allow it to get up and start moving, but it wasn't really making any progress here. And it's because it just keeps slipping because the joint it's moving on is really small. So I realized a better idea might be just to make the feet bigger. And once I did that, you'd actually see here I got a single step on this until it ended up tumbling over. But that was at least a lot closer and adding a little bit more weight to the back, I was hoping it'd be able to fall in the other direction and therefore be able to reset itself. And trying this out, it actually got caught and wasn't quite able to make that first step anymore. So I ended up moving some weights in the back foot even further back. And once it did this, it's actually able to take its first step again and it doesn't completely fall over. Now it's still unable to take that second step, but it's really close. You can see it's right on the edge of stepping and the whole solution is pretty much to move this node down a little bit. And finally here, it took the first step and it just barely managed to fall backward and take a second step. And after this, it was pretty much just the exact same thing over and over again. Cause once I had that second step, the cycle was pretty much infinite. Now I still had some problems where it got caught, but just moving around some weights ended up mostly fixing it. And sometimes it ended up falling forwards as well. But again, for the most part, things were looking good. And the next thing I wanted to do is work on the arms. Now the arms are actually pretty easy to get in place because I can end up piggybacking off the leg mechanisms and get the same sort of movement. Now you see here, I extended out that top part of the leg and that's going to be to move the shoulder. Now after I got that in place, I'm adding another parallelogram linkage. And once I did that, I'm actually connecting up to the bottom of the foot. So as the foot moves back, it's going to pull the arm in and that should create some sort of movement. Now it actually worked perfectly at first, but it was a little bit limited in its range of movement. I was actually hoping to get a little bit more. So I ended up connecting it a little bit higher up on linkage. And once I did that, you can see here, it really starts to pull in and it pushes out a lot further as well. So that looking good, I ended up just copying it over to the back and it was pretty much just a straight copy paste since everything's mostly symmetrical here. I had to move in the arm a little bit, but actually it seemed to work out fine. Truck starts going and the arms do rob a little bit of power from the leg mechanism, but it's shockingly little, honestly, and I think it looks a lot better. Now I decided to change the straight arms for something where it kind of curves up at the end. And at first I thought it looked pretty good, but now I realize it looks a little bit like a chicken, but it's fine. But anyway, here I wanted to design a course for it to ride on. And you see, I started with a really big step and I wasn't really expecting it to get over it. It's not really even close. As the back leg ends up stepping and sort of jumping forward, it just doesn't jump enough to get over that ledge. So I ended up going for some more small steps here. It actually isn't too bad, but it's still just not quite able to get over those steps. And in fact, it ends up just falling backwards. So I ended up going for one unit steps. And after I do that, it actually is able to get up them. And it's funny because it seems like it's more of a traction issue than a strength issue. It has no problem getting up them, but it just keeps slipping down because there's no real grippy materials in this game to grab the terrain. Now with that proof done, I ended up adding in one more hydraulic phase. And this one's actually gonna be for the very end where I want the mech to decompose and allow the truck to get out of it. You see, I have a stop checkpoint at the end, and I also have some platforms. And as the mech approaches them, you can see it's supposed to open up, but it ends up going into this teardrop shape, and it's because I forgot to tell it to expand out that circle. So giving it another shot here, it actually expands out just fine, but the truck ends up falling out, and it's because it ends up angling way too much. So to fix that, I was hoping to add in a road here to catch the truck as it falls down, but I ended up extending it out too high, and I wasn't able to load on. So I just deleted that extra road piece. Giving it a shot now, it actually did seem to be in the right spot, but the truck was very much getting stuck by this piece up here. So I ended up adding in a hydraulic instead of a road and that should pull it in a bit and that did free it. But I noticed another problem and it's that the roadway is still angled way too far down. So to fix that, I added in a couple hydraulics to pull up the roadway and you can see it's much less angled now, but it's still getting stuck by these road pieces in the middle. So I replaced all the ones that weren't absolutely necessary with hydraulics to pull them in as much as possible. And it actually really seemed to help. The truck started to get through here, but at the very end it got caught in the road and it just wasn't able to get free from it. So I was gonna add in a couple hydraulics to fix it, but I ended up going for diamond hydraulics pull it in really, really far. After I do that, you can see here, it's a stop checkpoint. After it fully comes apart, it actually does manage to stay on the roadway just fine. And it just slips under the roads. In fact, it just kind of nips them, but it ends up being okay because it's free. And doing a wheelie, it actually gets all the way to the end. So I ended up moving into final flag a little bit just so that I didn't fall off the edge. But you can see here with final design, truck loads on just fine, hits its checkpoint, holding folds up. And after that point, everything locks on the truck and that allows it to start rotating the wheel and making the mechanism go. Now you can see here a top down view, the whole mechanism walking. For some reason, people love seeing these and I think they're kind of funny too. So here you go. And finally here, you can see a full run of the entire level. So guys, thanks for watching. This
this is a video that has pretty much been on my list for like six months now. And I'm finally glad I found a good way to do it. So if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And otherwise, until next time.